Hello everybody and welcome back to the Maniacal Mini. Today we are working on Headcracker from Headcracker's Mad Mob. We have a Zenithal highlight and we are just going in now with Dark Gorgon Green Ink from Green Stuff World. And all of our cloth is going to be done with Flush Terror Red Contrast Paint. We're also going to be using Flesh Terror Red to fill in the etchings on the face mask. And the wood on the mask, we are going to be coming in with Swamp Brown ink from Green Stuff World. The skin color for the snake is going to be Veritas Green from GSW. And we're going to be bringing in Sepia Ink from GSW. This is going to be our base color for all of our bone and horns. start picking out the feathers now around the mask and the body. Uh, the first color we're going to be using is Griffhound Orange Contrast Paint. The blue is going to be Tenebri Blue from Green Stuff World. And last color is Sakura Purple, also an ink from GSW. Bring back in that flesh terror red one more time to fill in the etchings on the bone skull on his staff. We're going to start adding some highlights to our bones, and the first color for that is Morgast Bone from Games Workshop. And our second bone highlight color is Games Workshop's Screaming Skull 50-50 mix with Morgast Bone. And we are bringing in Snakebite Leather Contrast Paint from Games Workshop for his bag and any straps that might be around his handle or his mask. in Wildwood Contrast Paint for the wood on the handle of his staff. Be our second to last use of Flesh Terror Red Contrast Paint. This is going to be for the tassels that are hanging off the mask.
are going to be using Shyish Purple Contrast Paint for the Scorpion Stinger that is at the end of his staff. In Griff Hound Orange Contrast Paint, one more time, we are going to be adding some designs to the skin of our snake. be using a little bit of white scar from Games Workshop to block in the gem on his mask. We're also going to be using that white scar to do a little bit of edge highlighting on the under of his eyes because we are going to be adding a little bit of red glow. will be the final use for our Flesh Terror Red Contrast Paint. This is what we are going to be using to create that glow over the white that we placed down earlier under the eyes. Now we are going to be coming in with Soul Stone Red Technical Paint. It's okay if this is going to take you more than one pass. We just want it to be a really good looking gem by the end of it. For his ankle bracelet and wrist bracelet, it is going to be Antique Gold from Green Stuff World. Since these guys are savages and these are going towards a big open commission that I'm currently working on, we are going to tie them all together with a nice forest base. So this is going to be AK Interactive's Dark Brown Earth, and we're going to be adding some more steps coming after this. The Dark Brown Earth is still wet. This is a homemade mix of different types of green tea leaves. Um, I have some pomegranate in there, some ginger ones, and it just adds a whole bunch of different colors. The bracken fern to add a more jungle-ish texture, we are coming in with that Griffhound orange contrast paint and just picking out a couple of the leaves. And Creed Camo Contrast Paint is going to be our second leaf choice. We are going to leave two blank for our third and final color. Our last color for our leaves is going to be that Sacra Purple that we used earlier. Coming in now with AK Interactive Streaking Grime, we are just going to coat the entire model liberally. We want to make sure that this is a nice, even coat and we are going to work it off in the next step. Our Q-tip soaked in mineral spirits to work off this streaking grime. We need to be extra careful normally than we would because we did use a lot of inks and contrast paints that work off a lot easier. Okay, so for my blood mixture, it is coagulated blood and true blood, both from Green Stuff World. This is a stiff bristled brush. I'm just going to be flicking this all over the front of the model, and we're going to be streaking it in the next step. So for a smaller brush with some mineral spirits, we're just going to be dragging those blood streaks all the way down the mask. some bile effect that we are going to be using for the tip of the scorpion stinger. To be using Averlin Sunset from Games Workshop to block in the eyes of the snake. And then very carefully one black line just to dot the eye of the snake. to be about it for me guys thank you guys so much for watching do not forget to hit that like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one